Hello everyone and welcome to our new online Rhino educational series. I'm so looking forward to sharing all sorts of interesting facts about this incredible species so that you can love rhinos just as much as me. On this month's episode, we will be giving you an insight into the nutritional importance of milk replacer, how to make and mix milk for a baby rhino, how to bottle feed a rhino orphan correctly, and the essential need for excellent hygiene. Rhino calves drink milk from their moms until they are around 16 to 18 months old as nearly all of the rhino orphans that arrive at the sanctuary are younger than 18 months. It is essential that we feed them a milk replacement formula to ensure that they receive the required nutrition for the correct growth and development of a growing rhino calf. Rhinos are hind gut fermenters. Their digestive systems are very similar to that of a horse. We use a specially formulated milk powder that is based on a horse milk replacer and modified to replicate a rhino mom's milk as closely as possible. The milk powder forms the basis of the milk replacement formula, but each calf reacts and adapts differently to the transition from mom's milk. The amount of milk the frequency of the feedings and the additional supplements that are added are unique to each calf and is largely influenced by their age and weight. At Care for Wall, we weigh the orphans every week. It is a great indicator to highlight any problems, especially if they suddenly start losing weight. An accurate weight means we can calculate and increase the calf's milk requirements as they grow. You have to measure if you want to manage. Rhino calves drink between 10 and 20% of their body weight and sometimes drink as much as 16 liter in a 24 hour cycle. By the time they can handle 16 liter, the calves have also begun to eat solids. White rhinos will begin nibbling and grazing on grass at around three months old, and black rhinos will start to exercise their prehensile top lip as they investigate and browse small shrubs. Just as with any baby, having a structured program is very important. Each calf's program and unique formula is clearly written out. Younger calves are fed every two hours through the day and night, so exhausting, but very necessary. As the calves get older, the intervals between feeding increases. The preparation of the milk requires care and attention to detail. Excellent hygiene is paramount. Hands, surfaces and equipment must be clean. The milk powder is carefully weighed into a mixing container and additional supplements are then added. The contents is thoroughly mixed with warm water to ensure that all the powders have dissolved properly. Once the milk formula has been mixed, it is poured into the bottles. At Care for Wild, we reuse discarded and sterilized two liter plastic bottles that we then recycle after use. Sometimes we have to prepare around 18 bottles of milk for one feeding session. That's a lot of milk. To avoid confusion, each bottle has the rhino's name written clearly on the side. Once the milk is in the bottle, a calf teat is fitted securely in place. The final and very important step is to test the temperature of the milk. This is done in the same way as for a human baby. A little drop on the back of the wrist. Incorrect temperature can cause digestive issues, 
colic and a negative association with feeding. In the beginning, a lot of patience is needed to teach the calves how to drink from a bottle. But in time, they grasp it like a pro. Calves quickly learn their feeding times and do not like to be kept waiting. A stressless feed is essential. Strict timing and enough hands to feed is very important. When feeding a rhino calf, the neck of the bottle must always be filled with milk to prevent them from sucking air. Be careful not to hold the bottle too high or the milk will flow too quickly and could enter their lungs. Some older rhino calves that arrived at care for a while prefer to drink their milk from a trough and that is absolutely fine too. By the age of 18 months old, both black and white rhinos are fully weaned. Another step in the rehabilitation journey towards rewilding and release. It's necessary to feed with love.